Hi there, everyone. Today, we are going to talk a bit about inflation and mortgage rates and what they have in common. At first, it might seem like they are two totally different and two totally separate, but that's not quite the case. It turns out the mortgage rates respond directly to consumer inflation, and so they have a lot in common. I'm sure you've seen this happening in our real estate market and economy. As inflation has gone up, so have the mortgage rates, vice versa. As inflation goes down, mortgage rates also decrease. Let's talk about why this happens. When inflation gets out of control, the Federal Reserve will raise consumer rates to decrease the amount of consumer spending in the economy. The idea is that when spending goes down, inflation will also decrease. This is what we've seen over the past year. As inflation increased, the Federal Reserve started raising those interest rates, which they had originally slashed to stimulate the economy in 2020. You can see the relationship here. Increasing consumer interest rates is a way for the government and for the government to put the brakes on inflation by curbing the consumer spending, especially for large purchases like real estate. But there is also another side to this. When inflation goes down, interest rates will follow and also decrease. We know inflation will eventually be curbed, especially because of the interest rate increases the Federal Reserve has gone over the past year. With that in mind, we also know the interest rates will follow and will decrease down the line. The only question is, when will the interest rates decrease? As we cannot predict the future, nobody knows. So when it comes to buying a home, it's important to go by what's right for you and not by trying to time the market. If you want to see if it's the right time for you to buy a home, send me a message, email me, give me a call. I'll get you the facts. See you soon.